Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Jade Cocoon. I've done a little bit of leveling, trying not to go into any new areas, so I now I'm at capture level 4, and my delightful delightful minions are at levels 5 and 4. I got terrified. I think I might have had that already, but there's also this that I conspicuously had at the end of the last installment and didn't investigate. A jewel necklace of lies? Maybe just a jewel necklace lies partially buried. Beetle warp? Is that for these things? I have no idea what this is. Uh, I always have to remember how the menu works in this game. There's the controls. I guess it's just my character. Yeah, valuables. Beetle warp. Teleports between two points. Okay. I guess this is my big shortcut device then. Oh, right. I held square to run, not circle. Excuse me. I suppose I could use it here. But that's actually great. That means I could leave the forest, come back in, and just beam right back here like nothing ever happened. I'm okay with this. Now let's try going here for the first time. Although there still is a creature that I would like to capture that I just never did. <clears throat> I wonder if this is one of those. Not, that's a Terra Freight, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's cool. So it's strong against water. I would want wind to beat it. But I don't have that. I have a superior version of this thing, though. Yeah, how do you like me now? I guess just attack. I don't know if magic's gonna be... Well, I, I suppose magic would do more damage, perhaps, and it's a guaranteed hit. I can do a special as well, earth attack, why not? Whatever. That's much more damage, anyway. I wonder if I should even just capture this creature just so I can fuse it with the same creature, you know? Pump it up a little bit. And my guy needs to heal anyway, he's not looking so good. And now I guess I'm gonna get... No, we're good. I could always use more money, more creatures, more merges. You know, I could also capture creatures for the sake of... Right. For the sake of merging as well. I don't need to put them in my party. I could just have them as tools, which is pretty great. But this will be good for my capture level. Oh, huh, level 5. Look at that. Cool. Now I'm an even better... Capturer. This is some gorgeous scenery. Uh, and I'm going backward? What? How did that happen? Oh, up it. Jeez, I was trying to go around, which was what I thought was to continue to go forward. What is this? Because like, we already knew the way to the, the guy's house. Like, I'm going the completely wrong way in that regard. Or not. So... <laughs> <laughs> the son of the Lion of Peril is even more talented than I had thought. I looked up the Calabas herb in my books, but in the end, I found nothing. However, there is a folktale that describes a dust that wakes the sleeping. It is the story of a wondrous powder kept by a half-bird, half-man, named Kikinak, who lives in the Dragonfly Forest. So that's the next dungeon, presumably. Perhaps that powder is brewed from the calabash leaves. This is only a guess, and it's all I could find. But I think it is worth looking into. Here is the key to the Dragonfly Gate. You should have it. Awesome, new dungeon, new level up opportunities. Got it. You better head straight back to the village and consult with Garai. She may know something about the tale of Kikinak. 
You must do your best before it is too late. All right, cool. I beat the dungeon, I guess. But now I want to go back to that one other guy's house and run the past him. The divine spirit defies the great father and throws off his shackles. He is now bound to the chains of freedom. The Birdman. Oh, God, I'm playing Galarians again. Did this actually kick me out of the forest? I think it did. I can always go back in. There is a creature I want to look for. So, even Chorus does not know. But I do remember hearing the tale of the Birdman. There is a similar story of divine spirits in Nagi legend as well. Would you like to hear it? I actually have options, but let's go, let's do it. Elrum released his minions, the divine spirits, unto peril. He spake, Thou shalt not become what presides over life. And so they spent days bringing life to the forest and giving names unto themselves. And then one day, a spirit made up its mind to create a beast in its own image. Elrim warned, That creature is the beast of knowledge, and it will someday bring temptation upon you. Thou shalt not associate with it. The divine spirit so promised and gave birth to the beast of its own image. Such was the birth of man, the beast of knowledge as told by the prophet G, or Gi. As the sands of time flowed on, the beasts bore children, and so continued to multiply. Soon a fateful day came to the forest. One of the divine spirits fell in love with the daughter of man, and so the promise was at last broken. Elrim punished the divine spirit for its sin by transforming it into a beast. This is just straight up like the Christianity story of Genesis. Like, what is this? This isn't even a unique story. Even Elrim sounds like Elohim. This is way too on the nose. Descendants of that divine spirit dwell still in the forest, and sometimes they reveal themselves to us. This is the one different part, I guess. The birdman, Kikinok, as mentioned in the folk tales of Peril, might be referring to this spirit. Thanks for the story. We should seek out Kikinok, the legendary birdman. Enter the Dragonfly Forest, but be warned, an average Cocoon Master is no match for the denizens within. Yeah, apparently it's going to be a step up. And be sure to ask the old Gravekeeper about the legends. He is the storyteller of Cyrus, and should know much about the fables of old. Sounds good. I do want to go back to the Beetle Forest, though. I do. Uh, also, let's talk to my wife so I can merge and also heal just healing is good doing divine magic is very tiring Ooh, after performing a purification i feel so sluggish so this is a new thing to say what should we do yeah purify them ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. but it's great free healing Alright, so I'm healed, but also let's merge Terrafraid with Terrafraid. The magic attack and defense goes down weirdly enough, but the attack goes up by two. I think I actually do kind of want to do this though. Magical beasts who serve us, merge thy flesh to gain yet greater power. Reveal to us thy heroic form. I'm surprised the stock line isn't <laughs> voiced. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's the same creature. Okay, it's done. The name can stay. We're good. Wanna try merging some more? Nah, 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 I'm good. Were there any things I wanted? Like, this, I think, had a special ability? Does it show me this? Let's just do view abilities. Water attack might be nice. Fire attack, of course. Yeah, these guys don't appear to have anything overly special. Although, this thing... Yeah, that was what was good. Just a, a healing spell which could be useful to learn. And similarly, this guy has Agnes. Extra damage versus air, it's a fire attack. Good stuff. This guy I could probably just spin. Yeah, I think I caught a few creatures just to spin them. Same with you. Squoot is interesting because he's got this inherent poison resistance, I believe. Yeah, there's nothing... Whoa. What? Is this like evolution or what? That's a little weird. What happens if I do that with other creatures? I don't know what that's all about. I'll hold on to one squoot, but I'm gonna spin the others. Boom. Boom. I'll take the lesser one. Spin them! You can get money by selling the silk at the shop. Yup. Goodbye. See you next time. Good stuff. Am I allowed to just go right back into the beetle forest, though? I'm curious. Oh. Have you heard? Kalmar ran away from home. But I kind of know how he feels. A blacksmith's son must be a blacksmith. A Nagi woman must marry a cocoon master. Growing up is so unfair. Oh. I didn't realize I was talking to her again, but that's just a new thing to say. But that's actually, like, important information. I, for some reason, I thought the thing on the, the wall was the door. But nope. The way leading out of the house is the way out of the house. So anyway, let's go right back to the forest gates. I know we're going to talk to the gravekeeper, but I would really rather go right back into the beetle forest. Because I want to look for another creature that I have not yet captured yet. Now, what enemy is this? No, okay, no, I'm doing it right. Can I just go in this guy's house, I wonder? Oh, excuse me? That was just sitting here the whole time? The spear gives off an eerie and moist blue glow. What does it mean for the glow to be moist? Aquazor, or Aquazor. Oh my god, a fight. Patash and Skawasp. Whatever shall I do? Oh, no way! Are we doing Earthbound rules? Where if they get me from behind, they get a free attack? No way! I didn't realize that. Oh, that's bad. I had no idea. Anyway, let's summon Water Guy first. Oh, how embarrassing on my part. Look at this. Alright, you are going to take out your special attack on Mr. Fire and immediately kill him. Next, we're gonna bring out Terrafraid, which actually has an elemental weakness again, I think. Yes, so let's hurry this up. Oh, very good. One more attack will do the trick. 
Unfortunately, I do not believe my HP regenerates so easily, so uh, I better watch out for that. My creatures get back, what was it, a third, I want to say, but I need to use a healing item. Anyway, that creature's out of the picture. I didn't realize the weapon was right here. Speaking of which, I don't necessarily want to equip it because it's elementally charged, but... The attack is clearly better. Speed's down, magic attack's way up. Provides divine protection against water. Oh. If it's not elementally charged, then maybe I should just go for it. I don't know. I'll have to look into what happens if I get into a fight. I'll see if I'm elementally charged. I don't know if I am, but I'll, I'll take that weapon. That's awesome. That's, that's great. Oh, I'm fighting this guy after all. Alright. Ha, huh, nice. Now, well, water is weak against this guy, so let's go ahead and bring out my Terrafraid. This man is all back, so let's Earth Attack just for the sake of a little more damage. That ain't bad. Also, it didn't even occur to me. My Terrafraid is now level 5, perhaps because I merged it, because it did not naturally level up. And... Oh, not quite. Although I could capture this again. I guess why not? Why not? Got him. I love the little victory jump. Yes! That's very good for my capture level. I guess it's a higher level creature, so what do you expect? So there's, like, so they'll just be back off the screen then if I go that way. Huh. Yeah, alright. There's nothing else over this way. Alright. So what if I go in the house for not story reasons? Is he just here? The Lion of Peril. That is the name of a legendary black lion, strong in body and spirit. Here in Peril is a title reserved for men of the highest character. The forest gives us both mystery and discovery. On behalf of my comrade Riquettes, I shall initiate you to the arts of the Cocoon Masters. Your father. Yeah. We all. Until then. I gotta become a great Cocoon Master. Oh, I thought he was gonna do tutorial stuff again, but alright. So, see ya. Damn, so where's that one creature I'm looking for? I'm just not finding it. I guess I could always capture some other creature of a different element so I can go, uh, a-hunting. Oh, maybe this is what I want, actually. This is a yellow version. Oh my goodness. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have a fire type, so I'm gonna have to summon my water type, because my earth guy is gonna get his ass beat. This guy's level 3 as well, that makes me a little bit nervous. Good. Alright, alright, not as bad as I was afraid it would be. Alright, now for the scary part. Oh, good. scared myself with that. I was hoping I wouldn't kill him. Let's try capturing it. This is the one guy I was looking for. I'm excited. I might get hit for this. No, we're good. See ya. Join us. 
Oh, excellent. That's going to be my next party member. So I'm missing a fire type, but otherwise I think I got things covered. I may as well just try capturing a couple of other scrubs just for the sake of getting some quick cash monies. Actually, no. What I'm going to want to do is level up some of my creatures. Well, well, these guys are okay, but my third guy, the one I just captured right now... Because the next forest might be rough. I do like that. It is kind of interesting, though, how there are just color variants. They're like the shiny Pokemon <laughs> equivalents of creatures in this game. Let's go back and uh, make some friends. There we go. And heal me too. Alright, here we go. Let me spin. Um, other Terra Frayed, why not? Spin it. And then I'll equip the Marge Reg. I don't know what came up with these names. And let me equip. Marge reg. So. No, it's not its rename. View form, please. Yay. It's the yellow version of the green thing. See ya. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna let this guy get to at least level 4. I wanna pump him a little bit. Suppose I'll save, though. Couldn't hurt. That'll do. And let's run back into the beetle forest just to take out a couple of enemies. Oh! Okay, so I don't use it, I just, just press X in the right location. That's cool! The sound's a little over the top, but that's cool. Yeah, here we are. Welcome back to the end of the level. Very good if I want to grind out some tougher enemies. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Beetle Warp. Okay, very good. I'm just about captured. This is very good. Alright. I think at this point, I'll just leave. Oops. And you know what, just because this has mostly been redundant, I think I'm going to go ahead and go to the Dragonfly Forest, just so we can get a taste. A little taste. Dragonfly isn't the next one, I assume. Very good, very good. Dragonfly key used. Just like that, next forest. Different music, for sure. Look at this place. There's a new creature. And there's an item behind it, I think? If not that, then a flower. Oh, I didn't even get to see what this thing looks like. It's just a fight from a long distance. Oh, Terrafraid! Just welcome back! I guess. Well, this is a perfect opportunity for me to level up my Mardrag. 
because it's the superior element. And its mana will have recovered at least a little bit from the last fight, I think. Oh yeah, I can, I can hit him once with the wind. Get wrecked. I could capture this guy and guarantee my capture level goes up a little bit. Or, I could pump some XP into my Mardrag. You know, decisions, decisions. I think I actually will capture this thing, though. I'll have a couple guys to sell. Strange the first enemy here is the last enemy in the other place, but then again, that's kind of a hint. Like, it's gonna get harder from here. We're opening with what you considered the big stuff. Join me. You cannot resist my ocarina. No one can. Now observe as I rank up my capture. I didn't get a like a, an actual rank up, just my capture number leveled up. Another Terfraid? No, he's awake. All right, guess we're fighting. I uh, fine. This will score some points for my Mardreg. Special liquor? Oof, look at all that XP. So what is... Well, is that a, an item or what? But special liquor. Shab liquor. Special liquor. Let's rearrange. Restores all minion HP and mana. Wow. Made from pickled shab minion. Yeesh. So are you an item? It's packed with strange smelling berries or some kind of fruit. Kickleberry? Excuse me? Valuable? Found in the forest depths. Strange smell shunned by some. Loved by others. If you say so. I still want to look for minions and a save point. Because there's some stuff I actually feel like capturing around this place. Well, you're new. Terauco. And you're an Earth type. Guess I'm going right back to my Mardrag. I hope you can survive this onslaught. Although I might want to capture one of these guys, but I could still smack him around a little. No, I can't. Not with. All right. I need more mana. Oh, and this guy's level four. He's actually going to be a threat. A foolish decision to use magic. Oh, he's trying. Six damage, buddy. Think twice before you mess with me. No way, a third one? Sir, do you know where you are? Or better yet, do you know who I am? Ooh, there we go. That's an actual attack. I might even need to retreat from this forest. Six damage either way. Let's get my guy back out here. I could use one of these. Capture. Your soul is mine. Fool. You cannot resist my call. Alright, so capture level, please. This is indeed a tougher dungeon, though. Just immediately. <laughs> the toughest thing I had to face in the previous dungeon was level 3, and now it's the easiest thing I have to face. Terrible. 
Terra Frades, two of them. My god. This is no joke. Even with the recovery, that's not going to be enough. I mean, he's level 5. That's very good. I'll take it. I should have gone straight to status. I'm going to go ahead and use my... my Shab Licker. Yeah, we're, we're low enough level that that actually works. What's this, by the way? This is conspicuous. It glows by the side of a statue carved with a place name. Skeleton key. Beautiful. Anyway. Oh. That's actually scary. I, I could be in a little trouble for this one. I'll get the small fry first. Look at all that damage. That's a lot. That's very good power. Very good. I wish this guy had more mana, though. <sighs> Thank you. Special liquor, huh? That's a lot of XP. Well earned. Well earned. So what was the special stuff? Okay, now I already have that. Alright. Again, gorgeous scenery. Ooh, there's a new creature. Was it a turtle? What the hell? Do I get a, an attack of opportunity here because it was walking away? Rigu. And it's, uh, again, everything's Earth around here. Oh, Mardreg. scary, but we're okay. I like it when they miss. This time I'm purposely going to use an element that is weak too. Oh, this is good. One more hit. Very good. Bye bye. Beautiful. And that's only going to be better for my capture level. Create gods among monsters. And that was okay for my capture level. Nothing really to investigate around here, though. Was this just really just a dead end? I guess the prize was that creature. I wonder if it has a variant if I leave and come back. Well, this place is a little complicated, isn't it? I could keep going. Damn, where's a save point? Now I'm starting to get nervous. Look at all this. Huh. 
<laughs> He's ready for me. Is this different? Oh, that's a chest. Two? That's actually scary. Oh boy. But wait, they didn't think I might retreat. Oh, thank goodness, that's actually scary. Oh, and it dispels them. Thank you, game. That's incredible. Uh, do I want to use the key here? I might want to hold off for now. Probably the last thing I'm going to do is run back to the village and see if entering this forest has... Okay. To see if entering this forest has triggered anything back at home. Man, two Rigus. I gotta be really careful around here. Just let me just finish exploring this left path. More of the same, though. Incredible. And what are you? That's another chest, isn't it? Y'all come back. These things are actually dangerous, my goodness. I think I'm just gonna have to fight this guy. Like, there's literally no way around that. And I wish I'd hit him before he turned around, but... Two of them again. Unbelievable. I'm fighting. I don't like it, but I'm fighting. I suppose I could always break out Turf Raid for a slightly even-ish fight. And that, that's some real damage, it is. And I'm at full health with this guy now. Although two of these guys hitting him, that's gonna hurt. I better I better finish this quickly. Fortunately that attack is largely No, it's not a waste of time. These guys can do some real damage. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch this guy out. For whatever reason, I just get another attack, so that's very good. Oh, because he was defending. Yikes, with this damage. Oof, I, I am not enjoying this. I'm gonna switch out now. I was probably defending. Eh, I don't know what that was then. I'm still good. Oh, I'm still good. I can finish him off, unless I miss. Alright, we're good. Oof. That was actually kind of scary. I was I was taking a little longer as I was considering that last move. It was a bit of a gamble. Beautiful. Where at... Whoa. I think it's getting to the point where I need to use my hunter's ring. But what are you? Are you variations of those birds before? Mash, ma Mascara. I want these. And I share an element with them. I could summon this guy once. I'll see what happens. I'll take a poke at these guys. I would like to capture both. If possible. Wind isn't going to be anything special, but it's more damage, so let's just do it. Alright, that's damage. But these guys are also level 5. Oh, and they can put me to sleep. That's a problem. Will hitting me wake me up? Yes, it will. Thank you, video games. But I really don't want my human to be uh, awakened. Or, or, what am I talking about? Put to sleep. 
Oh, there's some damage. Okay, I think that's about enough out of you. Let's bring my Arpatron out because he doesn't have an elemental weakness. Because my Terra Frage certainly does. Let's do a water attack on you. Oh, very good, very good. Bad. And we're awake. So I guess that just cost me the turn. Well, now we're awake. Uh, am I allowed to do that again? Ah, oh, excellent. I keep underestimating my Arbitron because it's the first creature I got, but it's, it's pretty good. Now, can I capture the two of these? That's my big question. And do I get to go? I do. I'll go for the one with the lower HP first because I suspect I have a higher success rate. Damn, this ended up taking longer than I thought it would. I, I thought that there would be a save point relatively early in the dungeon, but I guess what's the point when it's at the gates? Alright, that's one creature down. Oh, good. I, I have multiple opportunities for this. Yeah, I assume that would happen, but I don't know if I have a creature that can deal little enough damage to uh, not kill this guy. That's the unfortunate thing. Even if I broke out my Terra Freight with this elemental weakness, it's 9 HP. Like, it's gonna kill this guy. So I'm gonna have to hack away until hopefully I can do this. And if I run out of cocoons, I run out of cocoons. You know, it is what it is. No, we're good. Move over, capture level. I got this. No rank up, but that's still damn good. Let's get out of here. This has been pretty productive, actually. Let's heal. Let's purify. Let's play with creatures and money. I turned this from a, a very redundant installment of a dungeon we've already seen to a whole bunch of cool new stuff. And I still gotta talk to that gravekeeper or grave digger or whatever about the rumor, but I'll do that later. And listen to this pleasant, relaxing music now. This this is what we need. Purify the cocoons, please, thank you. Look at this, I could sell some stuff. Okay, now, let's play a game. Uh, spin... My Marge, I was gonna consider blending stuff into my Terrafreight or Mardrag, but they're pretty well leveled right now. But for spinning... I could merge the Mardrag with the Mardrag, but he's doing okay enough the way he is, honestly. And the Terrafraid. Now, what else can I do? Maybe, yeah, I might even want to get rid of the Teralco? I think I will. Rigu. The mask here, I think I want to hold on to. Yeah, I'll hold on to those. Well, no, no, you know what? I could hold on to the Teralco for something else. Oof, so many potential things. I, th I think we're good. Let's spin. That's going to give me some serious cash. Alright. Because I'm holding on to certain monsters for potential merges. So let's get out of here. Uh-huh. And now, let us 
run over to the blacksmith really quickly because now I'm going to have a whole bunch of money. You haven't seen my... I bet he's out playing pranks with that no good watchtower kid again. Yeah, looking for a son. Tell him his old man said to stop playing in the forest. To come home and do his chores. My, my God, sorry, sir. Jeez, what'll it be today? I ought to have some pretty cool stuff to sell. Well, iron headbands, but uh. Oh right, what am I thinking? I can sell stuff at the blacksmith, but I also can sell stuff at the town shop. That's where I sell my silk. I was gonna say, where's my silk? I got all this cool silk. Town shop, excuse me. Then I'll go to the blacksmith and see if he has anything new for sale. I don't know if I have to beat the dungeon for that to happen or what, but I could at least check. My father's always away, so my mom never leaves me alone. She's just lonely. It's great that she loves me and all, but jeez. You ever been smothered like that? I always am. Damn, a whole new thing to discuss. My apologies. So selling. Cloud silk. I have six. Oh, did I not? There. Boom. Whole ton of money. Mirror of Deva, I found this from a drop. Uh, reflects unclean elements. Protects against abnormal states, which is pretty cool. Otherwise, I think I'm pretty good. Special liquor sells for a lot. Damn. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm so bored, there haven't been customers. Do you have anything new? Is that what Cocoon Masters have to wear? I was expecting something better looking than that. Strength is not the only allure of the warrior. Alright, geez, buddy. Uh, bye. Tendai Uyaku? Adjusts the viscera? What? It says total restoration, so maybe it's a resurrection move? Okay, well, if the shop has new stuff, then perhaps the blacksmith does too. Maybe I'll go to the square. Well, I'm, I'm kind of glad that they actually change up what they say a little bit. But anyway, let's go back to the blacksmith. Let's see if there's anything new that I can buy. My assumption is that now there is. Just buying a powerful weapon doesn't mean nothing unless you ready it. You know that much, right? Whoa, hello. Wire vest, plate mail vest. Everything kills my damn speed, though. Wire vest. Woven within iron wire. Light and unrestricting. Plate mail. Heavy, but good at warding off attacks. Weapon. This is what I was hoping for. The sword of speed. My, my speed explodes, so my armor could actually compensate for that at this point. Light and easy to wield, allowing for attack and defense in one move. I don't know why it's even possible to buy more than one of these things. Will you ready it now? Sure. I'm assuming that means I got it. So armor. Yep, I equipped it. So yeah, now my even my reduced speed is still faster than I was before, which is fantastic. I might actually want to opt for that. It's almost the last of my money, but look at all the defense. Boom. Look at that. All of a sudden, I'm a badass. I wonder if I'll look any different. My guess is no. Oh well, this is looking pretty good. Let us save, please. But I'm very pleased that uh, entering the dungeon allows us to advance as far as the town is concerned. Saving, please. There we are. And now that we have advanced this far, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We completed the Beetle Forest, and then we moved into the Dragonfly Forest. 
Yeah, it's just another dungeon, but there are new creatures here and more challenges that await us. Let's see what happens when we make it to this area. Do you think we'll be able to get the dust that awakens the sleeping? I sure hope so. Until next time, everyone.